Hey everybody, welcome to Stamping with Melva. I'm Melva Peters and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in British Columbia, Canada. And you can find me online at stampingwithmelva.com. And it's Saturday and I'm a little late today. Normally I go live at 11 a.m. on Saturday mornings with a card or a project for you. Um, but I was in a Stampin' Up! Um, on tour event, which was a virtual event um, that they held for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. I think it was mostly Canadians in the event I was in, but they're having them globally around the world through April. So it's always so much fun to get together. It's not so much fun if it's virtual, but it's still nice to get together with, with demonstrators. Um, so that's where I was. That's why I'm late. So I thought I would jump on at uh, one o'clock Pacific and make a card with you. So I am, hey Lynette, oh it's windy, yes it was really really windy here in uh, on the island um, yesterday morning, felt like I was going to get blown away and I think in the night it must have been really windy because my dog was going nuts, um, but it's calmed down, it's rainy but it's calmed down, so all right let me switch over to my desktop, I am using the Crane of Fortune, hi Diana, um, stamp set, and I'm going to make a card. Now, there are dies that go with the stamp set, but the card I'm going to make is aimed at the beginner or casual crafter who may not have the dies and may not have a stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I want to show you how you can make, um, make this and still cut out these, these uh, images. So let me show you what I've got here. I've got a piece of soft succulent cardstock. And I've cut this to be five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to score this at four and a quarter. Oops. Got my scoring blade out of it. All right. So this is the side I scored on. This is the raised line. So this is where I say fold into the mountain. Fold into the mountain is the raised line. And so we'll just fold on that line and give it a good burnish with your bone folder it's a really nice crease okay so that's my card base now part of this crane of fortune suite is and you may not be able to see this this is the um mother of pearl or pearl essence i can't remember if it's called um specialty paper that comes with this symbols of fortune suite um it's just so pretty um and i don't think you can actually see how pretty it really is let's move that out of the side but it's just really pretty and, and just creates a nice background. So I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. I don't know, I just, this is a little thicker. Sometimes when I've got cardstock or specialty paper that is just a little bit thicker, um, I like to use my stamp and seal as opposed to my, my liquid glue. So we're just gonna put that on as a layer. Now I have gone ahead and cut out four pieces and these are need to be trimmed because I've these are cut one inch by four inches, but clearly they're too long. So I'm going to trim these all um, to about three and a half inches. So you need four strips of designer series paper that are one inch by three and a half. I'll just trim that. And we're going to just kind of alternate them. So you could use all the same. I decided to switch it up and use, use um, four different pieces. This designer series paper from, from the, this uh, product suite is just so pretty. And this one with the flowers on that I've got is my absolute favorite. So we're just going to alternate these. I think I've got my crane flying upside down. Don't want that. There we go. And I don't think it matters, but we'll, no, well, no, there we go, clouds. <laughs> Not sure it matters if the clouds are upside down. All right, so we're just going to put these pieces on, and I am going to use my liquid glue for these. Just a nice way, one, to use up some scraps. So I'm just going to put this so that it is roughly... The same distance from all sides so it's about a just over a quarter of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch so we'll put that one on and then i'm going to do this one on the end just helps me kind of keep them all aligned properly so we'll do it roughly matching like that 
And then, so yeah, you can use up scraps or you could cut, cut these. Now I'm just gonna kind of put that down, not quite solidly on there because I might want to just adjust that. And that's why the liquid glue is just a really good way to, uh, it's just more forgiving. Yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust. Just more forgiving than, than the stamp and seal or the other adhesives. So there we go. I've got them roughly aligned so that there's equal distance between them. And we're just gonna let that dry now. Not pretty. This, this uh, mother of pearl or pearlescent paper is really pretty. Now, I'm going to actually use, I'm going to stamp this crane image. And where this is a, a, if you have the dies, you can absolutely use the dies. But I'm kind of focusing on, like I said, the beginner or, or casual crafter who may not have the dies. And so I'm going to stamp this in memento you could stamp it in soft succulent or evening evergreen but i'm gonna just stamp in tuxedo black memento on this piece of soft succulent cardstock and now i'm going to um, fussy cut that um, but before i do i'm going to also stamp some of these little these little dragonflies because i'm gonna add those on to my, my card. So we'll just stamp these over here like that. Now, if you're not fussy cutter, maybe I'll show you, I will show you some techniques that maybe will make it easier to, for you to like fussy cutting. Um, but so when you're fussy cutting, hello Lee, um, when you're fussy cutting, you wanna be steering your paper using the hand that doesn't have the scissors. So your scissors are not steering. You're gonna move your paper um, by steering with, in this case, my left hand and just kind of moving it as you cut. And you might find that this makes it easier for you to be fussy cutting. I'm also, I never worry about getting right up to the stamped image um, I always leave about a sixteenth of an inch around my image, and I don't worry if sometimes it's a little wider, <laughs> a little more of the cardstock showing than um, on other parts. Like there, I got just a little closer than than other parts. But again, steer with your your hand that doesn't have the scissors, and you might find it easier now. So, take that off. I actually find fussy cutting, fussy cutting um, quite relaxing and I like to do it. If you follow me, you know that I like to fussy cut my sentiments um, a lot, but I also like to fussy cut um, images. And sometimes, if you, if you, even if I've got the dies, sometimes just fussy cutting the die is just, you know, it's Quick and easy sometimes, depending on how, like this isn't so quick and easy because it's it's a little bit more intricate, but sometimes um, it's just fairly quick and easy to cut out your image as opposed to grabbing the, the die. I have a lot to do. I definitely would use my die. In this case, we're just making one card. All right, so there's my crane that I have fussy cut, put him on here. And then I'm just going to, hello, welcome from Australia. All right, I'm just going to, all right, sorry, I'm seeing some comments from, looks like a spammer, so I've just erased them. Hopefully they'll go away. You may not have seen it and that's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna, again, I'm fussy cutting these little dragonflies out. The nice part of this stamp is you can cut two dragonflies and these are really quick. I'm really just going around them. I'm not worrying too much um, if it's exact, but I, cause I just want the shape of the dragonfly. Again, there is a die that cuts these out, but 
for this card. Not everybody has the dies. All right. Okay, there we go. Three, one more. Okay, there we go. There's some dragonflies. All right, so now let's use some dimensionals to adhere my crane. Now I'm going to use the big dimensionals and now I'm going to grab I take your pick tool. I like to use this. I have a hard time getting the little mini dimensionals off so I'm just going to use my take your pick tool to grab some of these mini dimensionals and I'm going to just take my scissors, my paper snips, and just cut. The, there's always a little extra on the edge of the, uh, the mini dimensionals, more so than there is on the regular dimensionals. And I like to use it where I've got kind of where these the legs are on my crane. I've just cut a, a strip that um, will go down there. It's just easier than cutting a dimensional in half or even it would probably be need to be even smaller than half. So we'll just pick those backings off. And now let's just put the crane like that. And then we can use, let's use the mini dimensionals on the backs of our dragonflies. And let's use that the back, there we go. Ah, stuck to my finger, there we go, that's all right. that. We only need one on these little ones. There's two different sizes of dragonflies in this on the stamp. Okay, so now let's, let's just put some of the dragonflies around like that. I'm going to need a sentiment here pretty soon. And like that. All right, now I'm going to need a piece of uh, basic white. And the only ink I grabbed was the memento, and that's okay. So let's use this one that says much luck and good fortune. We'll just stamp that right there. And again, I'm going to fussy cut. I could just cut a straight line, but I'm just kind of going to go around it like that. Again, steering with my left hand as opposed to the hand that's my right hand that's got scissors. And we're just going to put that there. And again, use dimensionals. Oops. Now, I'm going to, before I put that, I've got, this is the, the soft succulent satin ribbon that comes in this product suite. So I'm just going to take a little piece. This is um, about four inches or so. Just gonna trim. Oopsie. Ah. My scissors. I really need to clean these. They seem to, even though I only use these for ribbon, they seem to have got. I'm gonna trim that a little bit. They've got some kind of adhesive on them, and I need to really clean them because I'm having a hard time cutting. All right. So I've got a piece. Actually, I ended up cutting that to be about three inches. So we're just going to put that here and hopefully, oops, my, yeah, okay, there we go. So I'm just going to adhere this, just put a little strip of uh, stamp and seal there like that. And now I will stick my 
sentiment. Just gives it a little bit of backing. You could use some um, cardstock for that if you wanted to. Now, the last thing I want to adhere are the polished dots. These are also part of the product suite, and they come in two colors. They say they are Calypso Coral and Very Vanilla, but they go, per, I mean, I've got Calypso Coral on here, so it's perfect, but you can use these on pink um, as well. They, they go really well. And I'm just gonna use three of the big ones, so two, two in Calypso Coral and one in the Very Vanilla. The Very Vanilla really coordinates nicely with the, uh, the Pearl Essent um, or Mother of Pearl paper uh, that I've got on, but it's really hard to tell that that's what it is. Now I've got a piece of basic white cardstock that I didn't cut. So I'm gonna make this to be four, oops, four inches by five and a quarter for the inside of my card. And let's take my, my um, Tuxedo Black Memento and we're just gonna stamp some of these dragonflies in the corner. And then you can take your adhesive, whether that's the, the liquid glue or the seal. And we will adhere this inside my card. There we go. All right. It's really pretty with the, the designer series paper and a great way to use up your, your strips of designer series paper. Um, and also a great way if you don't have um, the, the dies for a given stamp set, or maybe there isn't dies for a stamp set, um, you can always fussy cut the images. Now, some definitely are a little bit more intricate than others, but even this crane that has, you know, kind of lots of nicks, nooks, nooks and crannies, is that the right word? Um, wasn't, doesn't take long to, uh, to fussy cut. So uh, yeah, just think of other ways to use, to use your stamps. You could always cut out the images and adhere them on. So, all right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that card. Um, stay tuned for, I will be live again tomorrow at 12 noon. I'll be back on time tomorrow, 12 noon Pacific with another technique uh, or project for you. Not sure what it'll be yet, but I'll have something for you. So thanks very much for joining me. Um, oh, actually, I did mean to tell you. So I there's still time to register for the Symbols of Fortune stamp camp, which is being held by, it's the Creativity Abound stamp camp. Camp, and it is uh, April 29th and 30th. I think that's the Friday and Saturday. Um, so if you purchase the Symbols of Fortune product suite, so the whole suite um, from me, you will automatically be registered for the stamp camp and you will get a make and take kit with 13 projects in it. Um, for no additional cost. Um, and so purchase the suite and you will be automatically registered for the stamp camp. Um, and if you can't make those dates, that's okay. Everything is going to be recorded for you. You will get the make and take kit and the YouTube videos uh, and the PDF instructions for it, for those projects. And in the, the product or in the Facebook group that you will get, we will be doing lives over the course of the weekend with 13 bonus projects. So I hope you'll consider it. If you haven't registered yet, there is still time. Registration closes April 14th, but um, order the product suite and you will be automatically registered for the, the uh, stamp camp. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow. Happy stamping. Bye.